Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goalie in this one. It's Rogue Val Cabot, Jack and Torvald. This is very close to the team I've just played uh, with the Gorgon Relay video. Um, it is Wraith Trap, the lore map. Uh, we're going to go default actually, I've not done default for quite a while. We shall play as our boy in his most handsomest of forms. Um, we'll do traversals as always and we'll kick this one off. Lo and behold, we're going against Jack, which is the trapper that is designed to hard count a Goliath. So, we'll have to see. It's also a Cab Vault team, which is Cabot plus Torvald, which is one of the highest damage uh, combinations in the game. So, we'll see you now. Away we go. We've also got colonists as usual. This map. Fucking hell. Personal space, please. Uh, we always go forward, so I'm gonna go behind in this one. Tech the scenic route. What's that? That's gonna be a buff of some description. It's birds ignore us. Not the greatest of buffs, but you know, this early in the game is when it's usually at best. When it should be used. Playing his default Goliath always reminds me about how just genuinely great the base uh, designs of the monsters were in this game. Because he actually looks quite good just as default. Which is ridiculous by the way, because they're literally right there and I'm going back towards them. I'm going to jump over him. Skip the alien giraffe. That's going to be armor regen, which... Mm, he just sort of exists for Goliath because he doesn't really need it, but we'll take it. The fact that it's food. A bit fucking scared now because I've lingered around here a bit too much, so I don't know if they're going to be coming down this side. Stumbling the animation there. Baby Goliath does have um, quite a few character characteristic animations too. He's very nice. I always like to praise that. It's something that is severely lacking in video games today. I've said my piece on that many a time as well. Too fucking quiet at the moment. I'm bothered by this because it has actually happened in uh, previous games. The bots like to surprise from time to time. Uh, it's going to be stage two, ready though. A massive distance here. We'll go for it. At least I hope I have anyway. <laughs> Shall learn how to throw rocks, as is a customary of a stage 2 Goliath. Go say hello because we've got full armor. So, uh, uh, yeah, give me that before it runs off. You've got to tell where they are with this. As I say, armor regens just—it's it's a little bit redundant on Goliath. Honestly, they're fucking miles away. They're over here. Can dilly daddling, dilly daddling, I should say. Get the surprise there. She did use her uh, class ability straight away, which is very nice. I need to remember you exist, actually. Thinking about it. Do it, that. Uh, we'll capitalize on him. Collect that. I uh, shouldn't have done that into Jack, but it's fine. He is down. That's his call. Getting Jack down here is going to be required because we've got no armor and we need to be getting out of this dome. 
There it is. Fucking hell, that was a big chunk I just lost. Don't piss the tyrant off. Here come the humans, destroying everything in the way, like they always do. Fucking hell. Too many trees and shit. We're gonna be fighting that tyrant now though, so we've got a bit of time here. I am going to go in for another fight there though, even though we lost quite a bit of HP because we need to get some more strikes before we get to stage 3. We are going to have the Evolve ready here. Uh, that's sort of old I'm asked about you. I get scammed here, aren't I? Shittest fucking ambush EU West. Can I just get in there, please? Uh, excuse me, why do you not have a strike? Did I not down him? I actually mustn't have downed him then. Okay. I thought him saying medic was the. Uh, where the fuck's he just gone? I looked away for a second. It's gonna be that. We need Jack now. Uh, this is very fucking dangerous. Very, very dangerous. That's good. We get the flick. Now we're going to go to stage 3. Uh, we're going to pick this up so we get a bit of HP back. Uh, I don't need to do that because I'm going getting me to uh, evolve. trees and shit, and we'll grab it. So we are now fully grown. Can't evolve anymore, but this is our true farm. So we're now a serious issue with hunters. This by law of the game is what they were deployed to prevent from happening. And the game goes out of its way to tell you that because we we're about to fucking stomp the shit out of them. <laughs> uh, we're not going to do that. We don't really need it. To be honest, it is a bit of a kill. It's the damage buff. Goliath already puts out a pretty damn decent amount of damage um, anyway. A little bit of health regen is probably going to be a little bit more useful. I was about to say good dodge, but then you lost 90% of your HP because you decided to jump back into the boulder, but... <sighs> we do actually hit that. Uh, wow, okay. I'm a wee bit scared. Um, I mistimed my thing there. I want to get out again because I've got no armour. Do a bit of a reset. If I can get very fast armour here, we can jump straight back in. I wish the game had stopped fucking up my rhythm by throwing weird physics at me. There we go. Trample in. Where's the rest of the boys? Uh, they're going around there. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll grab all this because there's a lot of armor waiting over here. Might as well do the rotation. convert ourselves into a glowy boy. All monsters glow when they've got full armour because it makes them easier to see. It's a sort of miniature sort of balance thing where where monsters were used to hide. That's fucking ridiculous. I was, I was trying to get a splash damage at the side but um, you can see them a bit better in bushes. So you can clock a potential ambush from the hunter side. That's Jack being Jack. Jack is about to be deceased, however. I expected it to go up there, to be honest. <laughs> I'm 
not actually afraid to admit, I mean, especially against my Goliath, like, back in the day of live, whenever I used to pick rocks up like that, and people would literally stand still, it's usually a good fucking thing to do against me, because I usually flick it the other way just to try and predict if they're actually, you know, gonna, you know, make a dash for it sort of thing, so... In that instance, sometimes it's better to just stand still. Because they overthink things quite a lot. It's going to be us fully stocked again. Not lost too much HP here, so we're still sitting pretty damn nicely. Movement in this game is as fun as it looks, by the way. Jumping around and shit, it's just, you know, serotonin in video game form. That's fucking ridiculous, I don't know why you'd do that, but okay. He says as he jumps into mortars. Is leader man dead? They want you yet, I need to get everybody else first. There's the class ability. She gets the ability to oh shit, um, fully heal herself. I want to commit to this. Good. Now we need you because I need to be out of this dome. I'll do. Get rid of this guy because. Shit, I can't do that. That was very opportunistically timed from Torvald. Um, we've still got 30 seconds. I think we can do this actually. I'm going to go for Val. There's the heal. This. Stupid fucking use of that. I should have planned that a little bit better. They're gonna get another one here actually. Fuck. Um Yeah, we're gonna get out because everybody's coming back again. We're gonna have to deal with another dome, so I don't really wanna be there to be honest when um I've not got any armour. Striders anywhere. Just a singular strider. It's fine. I'll probably be alright. I've got a bit of HP I can spend here if I need to. Yo, where the fuck? Okay. That's ridiculous, mate. Yep. He's gonna have his shield here though, so. Yeah, there it is. I don't know where his team is though. Everybody's still here. Oh, there you go. Now we go for these. It's gonna be a battle dead. Uh, yeah. I would have said that a charge, wasn't it, mate? Fine. Good shit. There it is. Bit of a clean wipe at the end. There she is. <laughs> me literally itching my foot at the moment. I don't know whether to just, well, if I've got no thoughts I don't really talk over the little, you know, accolade thing and all that because I think it's a bit cleaner when it's just, you know, relayed to you and then we start commenting at the end of you and I start telling you how fuck this industry is. Um, but anyway, we're not going to go into that here, it's another Goliath video that I've enjoyed, so, another Goliath uh, game I've enjoyed, so, um... We have a tendency on this channel, if it is your first video, to start going on about, you know, how gaming as a whole just 
quite honestly chose the wrong fucking direction in the ASIM genre. Um, and the new topic of my mind at the moment, which I briefly touched upon in the previous Relay uh, Gorgon video, was that I seem to actually have a curse bestowed upon me um, in terms of every single game that I enjoy, something fucks up about it and goes wrong and it dies, uh, which is now what I'm currently experiencing and what I will say, you know, will probably be the end. Well, not the end. I don't want to sound like that because I don't want it to be, um, but Helldivers 2. If you don't know what's going on with that game, it's a bit off topic, but I just want to, you know, for the purpose of the bit I've started, um, it is a game that I am very invested in at the moment. I am enjoying the game, but at the moment, nobody can play it because when they released it, they didn't anticipate the fact that it was going to be fucking viral overnight. And now the servers are at full capacity, and there's a lot of people bitching and moaning in the Steam forums that they can't play it. Which, to be to be fair, is valid. But at the same time, people tend to blow this shit massively out of proportions because there are people demanding that you know, oh, we need to we need to be able to play this video game. Why are you not fixing this? Why why are we still waiting for a fix? And it's like, my brother in Christ, it's a fucking Sunday night. These game developers do actually have lives, and they do actually not. You know they have days off from work um but it's just that sort of gaming entitlement to an extent that you know it starts breeding toxicity and brings games down because it breeds contempt basically and there's going to be a lot of people now who now because they enjoy the game that much it will quickly turn to hatred because they can't actually play it um so you know at the moment, the Steam forums for Helldivers 2 is a fucking hot mess and a shitstorm, and it's now being review bombed as well to negative and all that sort of thing because people can't play it, which, again, I acknowledge that is, you know, that's valid, but at the same time, it is a fucking Sunday night. Yeah, nobody's going to be working on that game. Nobody's going to be in the offices because they're, they're literally not working. It's a weekend, yeah. So... That's happening, and I can see it becoming a serious issue. The other one, a bit controversial as well, there's another t another side to that, I'm going to mention this. Um, I have neutral views on the topic, but at the same time I can see a controversy on the horizon that's going to become of this. Um, they have announced in Helldivers 2 they're going to be adding you know, LGBTQA plus flags as capes for the game. Now, I will sit here and on this hill and say that I couldn't fucking care less uh, either way you know I don't give a shit I could live without them you know I can live with them and I'm gonna have to live with them because they're gonna be adding them to the game the reason that I don't necessarily like this is the fact that again it's gender politics and all that sort of shit being injected into somewhere it shouldn't be because it actually goes against the law of that game and at the same time there's going to be a bunch of targeting shit that's going to go on. Now, I'll put money on this, right? I'll say in a couple of weeks after they release these flags and people start wearing them that want to support their cause with this sort of thing, yeah? People are going to start friendly firing them in-game. They're going to start killing them because it's like putting a target on your back, basically. Um, especially with the reputation it's got at the moment with, you know, killing the fucking Marvel universe and all that sort of stuff because they're, they're just pushing for... It's Marvel at this point in time has basically just become this inclusivity agenda shit, you know, it's literally, that's all it is these days, um, and it's pissing a lot of people off from what I can see across the internet, and getting back to Helldivers 2, you're giving people friendly fire uh, mechanics, so they're going to be fucking shooting the shit out of them, and that's going to lead to a political debate and, you know, targeting these sorts of people who are, you know, wearing these flags and shit. And as a result, the game is probably going to go down like a fucking sinking ship. Um, because, again, we're going to introduce politics into the game. This is incredibly off topic. It's just an offload of thoughts. That's what I'm like. Um, if you watch any of my other videos, in some of them, we'll go into tangents like this. It's just something I have to, you know, once I start talking, I have to finish what I'm speaking, yeah, saying, you know. Um, but that's why I'm against that sort of stuff being put in the game, basically. But as I say, not against it for the reasons that are usually fucking, you know, alleged. You know, that kind of thing. I, I couldn't fucking care less what sexual orientation anybody is or what gender they are. I, I really don't give a shit. I always live by the words that I don't give a 
I don't care what gender you are, what trans, fucking, you know, all that sort of thing. If, you know, I always say rather crassly, if you're a cunt, you're a cunt. That's, the, it is what it is. Like, there's no badges involved in that. Or, you know, you're a good person if you're a good person, you know. I don't, I don't, I really just don't fucking care, you know. And that's what pisses me off with it, because it has to be included in everything these days. Um, but anyway, there it is. A little bit of an off-topic political rant at the end of this one, even though I did have a decent game here. Um... As I say, just I'm neutral on it, but when it does get in the way like this, it does piss me off. And, you know, me being somebody who doesn't have a filter, I will speak my mind about it. Um, but yeah, there it is. So, Helldivers 2 is set to become another game that I'm really enjoying and over the moon with, but is going to fucking die a death in some way or another. And I don't blame, you know the flag stuff for the death of the game. I don't blame the servers and all that. Well, I do blame the server stuff actually for the game because that is actually the fundamental issue at the moment that's going on um, because it's a launch issue. It's an actual bit, you know, a piece of the game similar to like what Evolve had where it had DLC issues at launch and things like that and there was a bit of balancing issues that went on with this game as well. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's another game that I'm enjoying that's probably going to die. But, you know... There it is. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Though maybe it won't. I'm hoping it won't because I'm enjoying it a lot at the moment. When I can play it at the moment, as I say tonight, I haven't been able to play it. I was going to record some Eldivers divers for the channel, but haven't been able to play it. But I'm not the one that's taking to the Steam forums, you know, demanding that people who are probably spending time with their families at the moment because it is a fucking Sunday night and they are not in work. I'm not demanding that they come back to their offices to fix the game, you know. Um, so anyway. There it is. Very off topic, but you know, at the end of an involved video, it's rambling. As I say, once I start speaking, I just have to finish my thoughts. I shall love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and I will see you for the next one, hopefully. Bye.